I had been invited to go chase sailfish and romp in Malaysia representing Fishing and God's Own magazine at the 15th annual Royal Pahang Billfish Challenge. I was with a bunch of media guys guided by Azar, a tour guide from KL. By the time we arrived at the Lanjut Hotel, things were getting busy. Local charter operator Patrick Erler was part of the sailfish conservation efforts, developing a tagging program with data gathering app, which was making a first time appearance at the tournament. It was great to see the locals keen to manage their fishery with good data and participation from fishermen. We arrived a day early at the venue and had a bit of time to check out the local sites, including a nighttime festival and street market. Tournament day arrived and we were itching to put a line in the water. I was with Ethan Neville and Pete McGregor from New Zealand Fishing Magazines. We called ourselves Team Kiwi. <laughs> Hopefully we won't need it. We were finally off in a charging rush of wake out of the estuary and into the South China Sea. The main method for targeting sailfish was live baiting, so the plan was to gather live baits first at a number of fads on the way out to the fishing grounds. Sabikis were set up and it didn't take long to get enough for the day's fishing. We headed out further and deployed the live baits. PE 3-4 spinning outfits were the standard setup, with 60-80 pound leader and 5 bar or 6 bar row circle hooks. I had a Blackmagic KLT circle hook on 80 pound tough trace. It was very much a drift and weight kind of game. We would look for bird activity, but not aggressively chase them, but rather drift through the general area. We drifted and moved and saw other boats hooking up nearby so we knew the sailfish were around. Occasionally we saw sailfish not far from the boat, but weren't hooking up. I tried a stick bait to see if I could draw sailfish to the boat. Sure enough, a couple of them checked out my lure, but it didn't strike. The action was a bit slow, so I tried to stir things up a little bit. Oh <laughs> 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 we were eating lunch and of course, that's when we had our first strike, with Azar hooking up a sailfish. Clearing the decks, it was cameras out to get the action. Left, 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 left. left. They do things a bit differently in Rompin. When a fish is hooked up, you have to move around the boat rather than the boat moving for you. Unfortunately, the sailfish swam under the boat, and despite our efforts to clear the line, the line was cut on the hull. Day two, and we were up early to try and get on the board. The best conditions for sailfish are bright and calm days, but the second day was windier and still overcast. I had a run in the first half hour, but got bitten off by what was probably a spotted mackerel. The day before my braid had been sliced by what I think was a long tom. It was more drifting and waiting until suddenly a school of sailfish passed by our boat and we had a triple hook up. Yeah, he's screaming, he's screaming. Ethan's fish spat the hook within a few seconds and Azar's line crossed my line and got cut off unfortunately, which left me as the only guy with a sailfish on the end of my line and just a little bit of pressure to get the fish to the boat and put us on the board. This was my first sailfish and it did not disappoint with fast runs, tail walking, aerobatics and circles around the boat to try and win its freedom. More left, more left, more left. He's coming in, he's coming in. More left, more left, more left, more left, more left now. More left, more left, more left. Close to the end we had another tense moment of the fish swimming under the boat and the angler having to take action. Pete did a good job of leading the fish, and there it was, our first sailfish, measuring 1.8 metres long and about 18 kilos. A lot of fun in my PE5 stick bait setup with Sinnet Van Diemen rod and 14,000 twin power with a stellar spool. So I just landed my uh, first romp and sailfish out here. Uh, it was for about 15, maybe 20 minutes with a fighting. Uh, jumped like four or five times, really awesome. Just took it really gently, didn't lose them. We had uh, what looked like a triple strike. 
with um, Ethan and Ezra also uh, hooking up but unfortunately they both lost their lines, but, uh, lost their fish, mine stuck fortunately so uh, it was awesome. I found a small remora fish and released it back to the sea. We were now looking to get fish for Ethan and Pete and moved and drifted some more. We passed by the island and heard a crew from the day before had landed a GT on a life bait so spent a few minutes casting stick baits near the wash. Sure enough, something smashed my shibuki. Not a GT, but a queenfish. The PE8 line was probably a bit much for it. Ethan also cast and scored a queenfish as well. I wish we had these guys in New Zealand. Fun to catch with powerful runs and jumps all over the place. <laughs> I love New Zealand. <laughs> uh, so uh, on our way back now, back to base, had some action. Uh, time's up though, we stayed a bit longer uh, past the cut off date. Uh, but that's alright because we're, uh, we've got some fish, we've got some action, it's all good. It was an hour and a half journey back home where we found out that night the winning team of Scotsmen, believe it or not, had landed and released 13 fish over the two days. Despite the challenging conditions we had a fun time. Thanks to Tourism Malaysia and the team for making our trip a memorable one. I can now tick sailfish off my bucket list. This is Scott from Digital Fish with content that catches.